What is up everyone? It is Baron. Today we're doing a video on IAE 2952 and pretty much if you're a new player and you've never come to Star Citizen, you've never been a part of the IAE cell or you've never been a part of Invictus, that's okay. We've all been there. Everyone's been through this and the best thing to do is to not get too excited and get too carried away. Be rational, be reasonable with what you want have a plan on what you want to do if you want to do a ccu chain that is fine if you don't know what a ccu is it is a cross chassis upgrade so you can have one ship and then you can upgrade to another ship but it has a cost so you have to pay the difference between the two ships and the best thing to do is to have one that will try and get a ccu that is on special or is discounted for a limited time and you can then use that discount to your advantage because you get the full ship value to go to the next ship of whatever you want or if you want to go up to the next ship but there's always an additional way of saving money or if you just want to buy the ship outright that is fine the best thing you can do also is have an lti token a lifetime insurance token this helps later on down the game um, with insurance if there's any additional costs say you have a javelin they come with lti anyway because it is over the thousand dollar threshold and it essentially helps you well not have any extra costs everyone seems to think it's not going to have some sort of um you know some sort of benefit later on down the track but i feel like you know they're selling lti for a reason and i guess it's going to have an, like an advantage later on down the track so try and keep with that always try and keep even if you have 120 months that's fine a lot of people are going to be elitists and they're going to tell you to get lti all the time if you can't get lti that is fine if you can only get 120 months that is cool but if you can get a cheap lti token like when the mule came out it was only like 30 40 us dollars that's when you jump on the lti train you get as many of them as you can or you can afford or is permittable you don't go and get carried away that is the best thing to do but again going into these sales with a plan is the best thing to do going and getting carried away getting capital ships maybe not the best thing but it, again if you are committed to the project and you consider getting like um, Legatus or Praetorian or Wing Commander that is fine <clears throat> it's not for everyone right so it depends on what you want to do in the game do you want to have a corvette do you want to have an exploration vessel do you want to do salvaging do you want to have um, the ability to carry many vehicles at once do you want to do more of the um, fleet support style stuff and possibly have the crucible there as well so the crucible i can't see it on the list here for some reason but the crucible is like a repair ship it will help your fleet later on down the track with repairing ships that need to be repaired there's a crucible there so the crucible is essentially it's got a garage on it where you can put a small fighter or a large fighter and you can then dis detach from that garage and then go repair a capital ship or a large ship and then you have a ship like the pioneer this makes ground bases so this will be a modular ground base builder you have a hull here which is a part of the hull series this is the hull e so this carries the most amount of cargo that any ship can carry this is the largest cargo hauler in the game which again is modular so before you go buying these ships just because you want to buy them like the banu merchantman go read the q a's go listen to the information about these ships we have plenty of information here so go check out those videos we have deep dives we have should you buy we will be doing deep dives again soon you got the crack in the carrier you got the liberator carrier which is a smaller version you have the idris m which won't be available at the cell is only available now at legatus or the praetorian pack um you can get the idris p with the idris k kit so i'm just trying to get used to sort of think about what you want to do in the game what ships you want each day will have a different manufacturer the last day will be the best in show skins whether or not you want them if you own those ships it doesn't really matter anyway it means you get those ships right <clears throat> if you didn't know that that's the whole thing about the sale here you got a starfarer which is currently the only refueling ship in the game do you want to do a refueling sort of system do you want to be able to give that assistance these at the moment can make you money in the game you can set the prices per liter i think it is on quantum fuel and hydrogen fuel on like any ship that you want when they come and get refueled the 890 jump it's a, again another capital ship nothing special just a really overpriced yacht super yacht i would say you've got the nautilus mine layer here you got the carrick expedition which is essentially the normal carrick just 25 dollars more for the skin you have the, uh, the 600 i exploration and tura you have the raft no sorry that's not the raft that is the srv so you have so many different ships so many different roles that you can take on in the game 
and it's just it's best to come into Star Citizen, fly a few ships, get a feel for the ships, have a look around the Carrick, have a look around all these different ships, have a look at the concept ships on what they can do and what really sort of partakes to you because I know a lot of people who are going to get the Endeavour or the Apollo because they really want to take on that sort of medical game uh, game block like loop game role. Um, I know a lot of people who have Orions are going to get one myself which want to do the mining loop obviously they're making millions and billions of credits each day. Again you have the whole series do you want a hull D do you want a hull E do you want a hull C what do you want to do how much do you want to be able to carry and again you need to remember that a lot of these ships have to have some form of of a um, fleet support you can't just go in and then expect to not have any sort of danger ahead of you uh, the MSR the Mercury Star Runner it's a it's a data runner and then you got the Herald which is again probably a little bit better of a data runner it's smaller it's quicker where the MSR is more of a dedicated um, smuggler and it's also a like data running ship um, it has a scanning uh, suite on it as well if you didn't know about the the secret tunnels on it go check that out it's probably one of the best parts about it that is actually the selling point for that ship a lot of the time but again there's just so many options you need to be prepared when you come into this sale don't get overwhelmed don't get um, the FOMO fear of missing out because that will be one of your biggest downfalls is going into one of these sales and just wanting to get all these different ships and all these different modules if you buy a normal Endeavour, that is completely fine. They charge ridiculous amounts for all the um, modules. You can get the Master Set. It's like nearly $1,000. If you get the normal Endeavour, it's fine. It's fine. You can get the modules in-game later on. One thing I want you to know is a lot of the ships that are in-game right now are purchasable in-game. You just have to grind for them. All these ships will be available in-game for purchase. I don't know about the Javelin, I don't know about the Idris M. The Idris M, as I know, will be something you'll have to work for. You'll have to build like some sort of a reputation with the UEE to be able to actually get one. There could be one in the black market. You may have to steal a Javelin to be able to own it. You will be able to like re-serialize it like when you would take the VIN number off a car. But there's just so many different aspects that you can take from this and so many different things. A lot of ships won't be available. So if you want like something like the Omega or you want the Vindicator um, Mustang, you can't get them because they won't be available. So limited ships, very limited ships like the Sabre Raven will not be available. Um, it's just this ship sale is for all ship sales. If you go to Invictus, that's strictly uh, navy ships and ships that are used by the UEE where this is just all ships that are available and I would guarantee that you will see some form of straight flyable or you will see a brand new concept at this sale to drive sales up and drive that revenue right through the roof and try and get one of their highest selling years and one of their grossing best grossing years I guess but again you just got to take it in Coming calmly, a lot of the older people who have been here for a bit longer, you will notice, will not get too excited. Some of them will, um, but a lot of them will just sit back with anticipation and they will wait to see what CIG brings us. And whether or not they got all the ships anyway, they might get another couple. If it's a brand new um, concept, they will get that anyway. So don't feel pressured in getting ships. You will have friends. You will make a lot of friends in this game that will have the fleets that you need to be able to support. Or you can man their ships or you can go, you know, you can go help on their ship. You can be a crew member. Just remember, there are people with Lagardas out there. There are people with Praetorian. If you want to help have any people to play with, come join our Discord. We have so many people that are just so kind they're always helping people they're always sort of like playing with people if you want to use a ship i guess anyone will just ask in chat and people will let you borrow their ship if they have a character people are more than willing to lend ships to people if they are looking to buy it or they just want to use it and they just want to check it out because that's what star citizen is all about you've got to remember that this is a community where everyone comes together everyone enjoys the game together and certainly if you ask me in game to borrow a ship go for it i will lend you a ship it doesn't bother me really like what's it what's the worst thing to do you're gonna blow it up and i have to reclaim it well big deal not like i'm gonna be flying that ship anyway i have a carrick i love my carrick i don't fly it all the time i try and fly it as much as i can i have an msr i have a lot of ships if you want to see them come and join our discord we have a lot of guys there with a lot of fleets so just Yes, it's good to support the project. It's good to know where you want to be in this project, where you want to be. If you want to be at the 10K, 15K, 25K, 5K, 1K, 
two and a half k. It's it's all up to you. If you want to be under that, that's completely fine. You don't have to feel pressured in buying ships or getting that sort of status in the game. And remember, it is just a game. You have other hobbies, you have other things that you have in life, so don't feel pressured. But if you have the funds, you have the money, you want to be somewhere certain in this game, that's fine. It's up to you. You don't have any sort of real expenditures. That is fine. It's completely up to you. <laughs> Again. But I just wanted to make this video to make you realize not to get FOMO, don't rush into anything, and just enjoy your trip through the verse. So I hope you enjoy this. If you're new to the channel, leave a like, comment, subscribe, share the video with your friends. If you didn't, leave a dislike. We'll see you in the verse. Bye-bye.